fan favorite, local executive chef, Azar Ariak is back with us this morning, and he's going to start off like he does every day, telling us, oh, this is easy. <laughs> and it is probably not the French-inspired creation known as a crepe Suzette. So first question, who is this Suzette, and why is the crepe named after her? Well, I mean, there's a whole lot of stories behind it, but, you know, we don't know if there's really any truth to it. But the story is um, someone was preparing a crepe for someone, you know, a high dignitary. Yeah. And he called it, like, Crepe Princess, and they thought it was disrespectful to the lady that was sitting at the table. Uh -huh. So then they named it after the person and called it Crepe Very Suzette. After the lady that was at the table? Yeah, exactly. Okay, so it was Suzette's Crepe. Yeah, it was okay. Suzette's Crepe. All right. yep. And even though she wasn't a princess, <laughs> we think she is. All right, so how do we how do we get her ready? Well, it's it's pretty simple. Um, as you said, I always say, um, we have <laughs> we have some flour here. Um, we also have some eggs that I'm gonna go ahead and add to this bowl. Then I'm gonna add one, um, two, three eggs. Three eggs, and mm -hmm. I got some um sugar right here. I'm gonna go ahead and oh, put that in. How there. much sugar was that? That was about uh maybe like three fourths of a cup. You can whip that wick there. Oh, okay. Jess isn't here yeah, now. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. have to work. You gotta do that. Oh, okay, I usually right. leave this to her. <laughs> I got some flour here. I'm just gonna add a little salt to that flour. So I'm gonna wait for you to go ahead and eggs that. and sugar. There you go. These got are it. the sweetest eggs. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you're whipping okay. it up nicely. Yeah. Whipping it up nicely. Okay, so um, we're going to add a little, you know, vanilla extract to that. All right, put a little of that in there. There you go, you got that. All right, we're going to add a little uh, Grand Marnier into that. Oh, okay, now there we're cooking. <laughs> well, we're not yet, but we will be soon. Very soon. Okay. Okay, we have some milk here, so you can go ahead and put that. Now, is that down. milk or heavy here. cream? This is milk. Okay. Okay, I'm going to keep that away from the heat. Because we're not ready for that yet. This is looking, uh, yeah. so I can make some French toast with this. Yeah. It'd be so pretty then you, darn then good. Then you got a, a big bowl. You could go ahead and marry those two together. So we pour take that, that in yep. there? You're going to go like this. Put that right into that. Okay. And now you could go ahead and mix that together, Bill. All righty. And I have um, some orange zest here. So since Jess isn't here, and I'm doing this, if, it, mm -hmm. if it's a flop, we'll know what <laughs> happened. <laughs> <laughs> well, we went wrong on this one. It's not bad. So You're doing a great um, job. You're this is just going to get this until we get all the clumps out, basically. Yeah. Let, me, let me help you out. Yeah, yeah, I don't want you to mess your yeah. beautiful blazer up. Oh, well. I, I okay. should have worn my apron over here. Okay, so we it. just get those little clumps off the edges. And we just want to whip this up till it incorporates. See, it would have taken me a while. So you're going much better than I am. Okay, so this is kind of exactly where you want it to be. And that's done. So now... This will go in the refrigerator and normally sit for about 30 minutes. So we're going to okay. put it yeah. in our magic, cool magic refrigerator okay. right here. Okay. okay, so we have some that's cooled right here. Now, okay. if you don't have a crepe pan, which I'm guessing most folks don't, you, you've got just a regular, like a frying this pan. Is, well, this there. is a crepe pan right here. Yeah, I know, but yeah. you have one. Yeah. But I'm saying yeah, if, if you, at home, if, if you don't. Yeah, if you don't, you can utilize um, a regular pan, but... You, you can make your crepes a little bit smaller so you can actually get them out and flip okay. them over. So right. you, if you're presented with that challenge, you can get it out so fairly So this crepe easy. pan, obviously crepes are very thin. Mm -hmm. So the pan itself won't hold it so much, which keeps it thin. There right? you go. Okay. And then, so we have a little bit of clarified butter right here. So I'm just going to add a little bit to that pan right there, just a little bit. Uh -huh. That's a nice hot pan, too. Very nice hot pan. Yeah. I'm going to spread that around just like that. Yeah, get that all the way around because you're going to pour the... Pour the crepes in there. The crepes in it. A little excess right there. Yeah. Okay, so, and now I'm gonna get this. So you have no, almost no excess butter nope, in there. Nope, because, and you'll see the reason why I did it in that manner right okay. after I scooped this out. So, we put that in there, and then the trick to it right here is to getting it thin is picking the pan up. And rolling and roll it around. It, rolling it. Okay. You see? This is, if you do omelets, you kind of do a, a similar motion. Yeah, very with similar. An omelet. Yeah. You're correct with that. Okay. And then I have this little special little wooden tool here that I'm going to use to flip it over. So That's a crepe flipper. So, you know, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so we got that going right here. Now, so it doesn't take Why long. wood? wood uh, like well, a, to protect your pan, you don't want to okay. put any scratches on it or anything like that. So. That's coming along nicely. That can't take long as thin not as a, that not is. Not at all. Yeah. Not at all. So this is the same if you've done pancakes. This is just a super thin Yeah, crepe pancake. is just a thin pancake. Okay. Okay, so we're going to check it out. So let me put this a little bit hotter so we can get a little bit more color on it. So, so you want it to kind of brown underneath? Just a little bit, just to give it a little bit of dots on it. Well, quit playing with it then. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're going to go ahead and okay, go ahead flip, flip that. that one. All right, and get the and other if you side get, done. And if some of them break on you a little bit, it doesn't have to be perfect. You know, it's going to get 
tossing some sauce is still going to taste just as good. Okay. Regardless. That one's got a little split in it. Yeah, exactly. That's just another thin. place for, you know, flavor to so, absorb into a crevice of flavor. There you go. Okay, so once we um, get them to that point right there, that's cool. We're going to then take this little wooden stick, the crepe flipper as you call it. Yeah. And we'll go ahead and... We'll you just, folded him up. We'll just place that one right there for okay. now. Okay. All right, I'm going to let you do the second one, Bill. Oh, gosh. Put a little bit on it. Oh, Don't you worry didn't put about any it, extra butter? Oh, there's, a, there's, there's enough okay. right there. Just a little. Just enough. Okay, so I'm going to lay the lid in there. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> you, you put it in there, and then i got to smudge it around a little bit. Okay, so go ahead and pick it up. Okay. Let's, let's move it around. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. There you go. Let it tilt. Come to Papa. Oh, oh wait a minute. That's Come fine. on, That's baby. Fine. Come on, baby. Come on, fill that in there. There you go. Oh, now oh, you oh. just put it back down on the heat. You're good. Okay. Put it down on the heat. Okay. Okay, so we're going to keep an eye on that. And while you're doing that, I'm letting this pan get real hot. I'm going to make the sauce that it's going to go in, okay? Okay. I'm going to let mine cook. Yeah, let it get a little I'm color not, on it. I'm not as confident as you were about <laughs> flipping that. <laughs> okay, yeah. so so in this pan right here, we'll let you make one. We'll finish that one off, and then we'll just get okay. on the sauce. How's that uh -huh. looking over there? A little bit a little longer. Eh, it needs a little more. Get back. Get back over there. So okay. th this is not quite paper thin, but it's pretty darn it's thin close. enough. It's yeah. thin enough. Yeah. You should probably be good right now. You can probably okay. flip that over. Okay. So you did. Let me help you out. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to yeah, mess you it up. Yeah. Oh, see, so you, you go. got those Boom. chef's fingers. You just reached <laughs> in there and grabbed it. Actually, that doesn't look too bad. You did a good job. Yeah. You did better than mine, Bill. Now, could you, if you wanted to fill in, I've got a couple of holes here. Could you just dribble some? No, because then you're going to have inconsistent um, okay. take cooking times on it. Okay. So we got this pan right here. I'm going to go ahead and add some orange juice into that. You see how quickly that deglazed right there? Add some cool sugar it right to down. it. Some sugar Orange in there. Orange juice and sugar. There we go. Great combo. And with the butter. Of champions. And then we got yeah. some sections, orange sections right oh, this here. This is going to taste great, isn't it? All right. We're going to put a little extract in there. Okay. Okay. And then your favorite right here, we got some Grand Marnier. And that does cook off the alcohol, cooks away as we go through it. Just okay. gives it that. And we got a little Hennessy we're going to add in there, too. Oh, well, why not? <laughs> and we got a little magic for you right here, Bill. Keep an eye on this one. Uh-oh. Stepping back. Woo! <sighs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, so that, let that, that literally reduce right is there. cooking off. That's literally, okay, that's okay. done. Let's take okay. that. All right. There you go. Oh, Look you how see, pretty I that got is. my gold, baby. You didn't get the there gold. You go. Yeah. You got the gold medal. Let me help you with that. All right, yeah, go ahead. There you go, me. Bill. All right, we're going to flip that and... Uh-huh. Right uh-huh. Who, who Bill, got you the brown in there? You yeah, mastered yeah. it, Bill. Not the, not the pro. You mastered it, Bill. Got I got to make another okay. one because you did that now. I got oh, to do I another just, one now. <laughs> Please, can I just stop <laughs> while I'm ahead? <laughs> Use my beginner's luck. Okay, so we see this is reducing nicely. Uh-huh. Go ahead. All right. This one's going to be a little smaller. A little smaller, but we got two nice size ones. Yeah. Already. Okay, so we could pull that. That's done. See how fast that is. So now you've got ours folded over here. We're going to mm -hmm. put something yeah, in them. We're going to open gonna, them back up. We're going to put them right over here. So okay. we got a little trick for that. We're going to take these and drop them in there. Uh -huh. Let them suck in some of that nice flavor we got. Yeah. Well, you're, you're, you're pushing it. We're running out of there time. We go. So, you know. Okay, so we'll start the whole plate up right here. That okay. won't be finished by the time we plate up. Okay, so we got these berries sitting here nicely already. We're going to take these crepes that are sitting nicely in the sauce. We're going to go ahead and place one right there. You didn't flip those. You just let no, it bottom No, because we're going to pour some on the top, so it doesn't matter about flipping okay. it. All right. This nice one that's freshly done. Boom. Little sauce on that one. Okay. So Boom. they're going to have lots of flavor, aren't they? You, yeah, because they and got the And then you pour all of that, whatever was left of that sauce, that right kind of burned off in there. And then, and then to top it top all of off. Top it all off. We With got some Hagen dazs <laughs> We got a nice little scoop of Hagen dazs that we're gonna go ahead and. Of course we do. Right on the top, right there. Yeah. Like, there you go. So right. there goes a fork right there, Bill. Dig on in. Well, since you insist, <laughs> <laughs> this looks fantastic. Chef Azar is hosting a four-course Valentine's Day meal. On Friday, Valentine's Day from 4 till 9 p.m., Firehouse 15 on Meadowbridge Road. You'll fall in love with the whole thing. We'll post a link to all the details and the recipe on our website later today, wtvr.com slash VTM. And anyone that um, 
register on reserve makes a reservation today we're going to be giving out a free ticket so we're going to be doing a raffle so anyone that reserves today until they're sold out which will be today someone's going to get a free ticket so you're going to kind of get a two for one so act fast all right let's get a check <laughs> on the local forecast